Hey everyone, Mama Reviews here. Just thought I'd do a video on how we meal plan around the house. Uh, so it's kind of a two-part thing. It's how we meal plan using a meal planner and then um, the second part of transferring all those recipes into an actual recipe binder. So without further ado, I will leave you with the remaining footage on how we plan our meals. So this is what our weekly menu planner looks like and it only has room for dinners right now. Um, I found this on Pinterest and I kind of recreate it in a different way. Most of the ones you can find on Pinterest have, um, they're in picture frames, but these are all magnetic since it's on my fridge and it's just, it's so much easier to get it done this way. Some are the uh, recipes that we haven't used yet and it has a magnet on the inside. If you can see that tiny little silver thing. Um, you could glue onto the outside, I just, I really haven't done that yet. Uh, done are all the recipes that we've used up and we don't want to cycle through them so quickly. So we try to use up all the yum before we go into the done ones. Uh, and on the sides you'll see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And this entire thing actually is magnetic as well. So if you remove these, this is a one sheet of that magnetic paper on the back. So if you want to move it to other places on your fridge, then it's very easy to do that. And it's also very lightweight. So how I will go about menu planning is taking from my yum pile. So I'm just going to take a few right here. And I basically lay it out and decide what looks good to me. And they are all color coded as well. All the blue ones are chicken recipes. Uh, green ones are kind of ones that don't fit into... Um, I guess beef and chicken. All the brown ones are beef. So on the front here it has what exactly the dinner is and then if you turn it on to the back it shows you all the ingredients and the actual amounts that you'll need for each recipe. I also just want to show you this uh, this ugly looking thing and all the purple ones that are laminated are just basically open recipes so right here at the very bottom of my menu planner I have all the new recipes that I want to try and if I'm doing a new recipe for the week, if I don't know if I like it or not, then I'll simply write it onto here with a dry erase marker. If I like the recipe, then it goes into my permanent ones. I will make a permanent tag for it and print out the uh, corresponding recipe. If I don't like it, then I just erase it and pretend it never happened. Okay, so once I've decided what I want to make for the entire week, then I kind of put them in the preference of what I want to do Fridays. I try to do something a little bit more tasty. I try not to put the same categories, um, one right after the other. So I've got so buffalo I've got chicken rolls, uh, chipotle marmalade chicken, which is another chicken dish, so I've got two in a row. Then I've got a beef stir fry, another chicken recipe, um, ribs recipe, and then down here is another chicken recipe. Now once I've decided on exactly what I want, I'll go to the back of each one and I'll write down the ingredients. So this one, buffalo chicken rolls, is a new recipe. So all my recipes for the week that I transfer over to this side on our fridge. And then I'll actually look at the ingredient list here and transfer that over to my shopping list. I'll do the same thing for all the ones here. So chipotle marmalade chicken, um, you just pull it off and these are the ingredients that you need. And I find it really handy to have the ingredients on here instead of going to your recipe binder. So I do have my recipe binder right here and these are all the finished ones. Anything that's kind of decorative and looks nice, these are all the recipes that we would use again. So I, I do it back to back in my recipe binder. Uh, this is the chipotle marmalade chicken. We often have that over quinoa. I've got a picture of how I've made it. It has all the ingredients and all the directions as well, but instead of pulling out my recipe binder every time and then flipping back and forth to see what the ingredients are, it is just so much easier to have this on hand so I don't have to really go anywhere. I can just do all my menu planning exactly where I'm standing. Now this is my actual shopping list and I have it broken up into different categories. Uh, we did our shopping at Walmart, so this was in the order from going from toiletries, going all the way around the store, ending up at the checkout. So it would kind of start off here and go around. But uh, we shop at Sobeys now, so I haven't updated that, but it is really easy to figure out what you need. Um, so if you're in that section, you can pick up everything at the same time rather than kind of darting back and forth, um, writing down your ingredients just on one list. So I've transferred everything from my menu planner up there down to my shopping list. And for anything else that I need, I just kind of go around the house quickly, see what I need, vitamin D drops, I need Kleenex, and we just write everything down here that we need at a glance. Now I always have a copy of this stuck to the front of all my recipes I'm going to use for the week, and I just stick it up on my fridge here. So if there's anything that I need for the week when I'm going shopping, uh, we can just jot it down there so we don't forget. So that is how I meal plan, and it's on a weekly basis. And I just want to show you kind of part two of that, and it's my recipe binder. So it just says recipes on the side here. 
and it has different categories, different tabs for breakfast, uh, dinner, dessert, pork, chicken, seafood, all those kind of things. So if I turn around here, I just want to show you how I organize this um, because it has to do with menu planning. So like I mentioned with the little purple recipe tags for new recipes, if I decide that we don't like it, then we'll throw it away. If we do like it, then I'll basically ask my husband, uh, what did you like about it? Do you want to change anything, add different ingredients, take away ingredients? So that way when I'm actually writing out the finished recipe, I can add in exactly what we want and kind of uh, customize it to our taste. So for example, I'll just show you everything here. So it says the title of the recipe, what the serving size is, what the prep time is, active time. So total time for this recipe is about 30, or sorry, 25 minutes. Uh, it's got a picture of what it looks like. It's got the full list of ingredients here and the directions on exactly what to do. So the reason why I also have recipes written out, I'm the one who primarily cooks because since I'm on mat leave, I'm obviously home before my husband. Um, but in the future when he cooks or when Grayson's older and he wants to cook a meal, they can simply flip through this, decide what looks good, see what ingredients we have in our hand, see what they need to buy. And then it's step-by-step -step instructions. As I actually make it along, these are the instructions that I follow. If I switch it up for any reason, then I'll write it down here. So this is an easy way for the whole family to participate in this and they're not constantly asking you how do I cook this, what do I need to get, it's all written down here. So I hope you guys found that helpful, that's how we meal plan around the house here. Uh, we do it week by week with a meal planning chart. Uh, we do find that this reduces on food waste because you're actually using the ingredients that, uh, that are called for in the recipes. Another thing that I didn't mention was I try to plan my recipes depending on the ingredients. So if there's one recipe that I pick and it calls for a half an onion, I try to find another recipe that also calls for a half an onion because otherwise the other half of that onion is going to go to waste and onions typically aren't used for snacks so you can't just get rid of it that way. Anyways, I'll be linking to everything that I mentioned in the down bar below, so uh, like the DIY meal planner, or the recipe binder, things like that. If you guys have any questions or comments, as always, feel free to leave in the down bar also below. Um, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment, thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! pulverize it and make more room and kind of gradually add it in. If you don't have a really big blender, so what I actually do is